Welcome to Edinburgh and welcome to Holyrood Park. Today I thought I'd take a walk all the way round the Queen's Drive. I think it's about 5k and it means walking all the way round Arthur's Seat. Fancy joining me? Welcome to Rog Vlog. It's an absolutely beautiful day here in Edinburgh today, if a little cloudy. We're going to start our walk here at St Margaret's Well. Are you ready to go? This first stretch of the Queen's Drive is actually the main road through Holyrood Park. It's also nice and flat and I love the contrast. On the right hand side you have the foothills of Arthur's Seat. On the left hand side you have a magnificent field leading up to Holyrood Palace itself. seen St Margaret's Well, here is St Margaret's Loch. Now I call this Swan Lake and you'll be able to see why in just a moment. Right above St Margaret's Lock, up there on the hill, is St Anthony's Chapel. And now the Queen's Drive veers away from the main road and we start to climb up the gradient. After St Margaret's Lock, the road starts to twist and twine its way halfway up Arthur's Seat. Now originally you were allowed to bring your cars up this road, but now it looks like it's just for pedestrians. So let's keep up the pace. We're climbing quite quickly now, and on the left you can see the Meadowbank residential part of Edinburgh, and on the right more of the hills of Arthur's Seat. We're still in lockdown, don't forget, so we're only allowed out during the day for exercise. And this is such a great place to exercise. As I said, it's about 5k all the way round and it uphill and downhill. So you are going to get a bit of a sweat on if you walk fast. The gradient's a little steeper here and in the distance for the first time we can see the summit of Arthur's Seat. Ah, it looks like I've done some bad planning. I don't think I can walk all the way around the Queen's Drive today. This sign suggests that part of it is closed. We're going to carry on and see though. The gradient is starting to level off here. Now we've already climbed up to about 120 metres. 
Arthur's seat itself is 250 meters, so we're just a little bit less than halfway up now. And here we are at Dunsapi Lock. Yes, another lock. It's really incredible to think that we're right in the centre of Edinburgh, isn't it? I mean, if I do a 360 degree circle, you would think that we could just be in the highlands of Scotland rather than in the city centre. If you want to climb to the top of Arthur's seat, depending upon which way you go, it can be quite an exhausting haul. But one of the easiest ways to get to the top is to take the Queen's Drive up here to Dunsapi Loch, and then just behind me, that's probably the gentlest slope to the top of Arthur's seat. Well, as you can see, the road actually is blocked just up ahead and the gentleman told me it's all about rock falls that they're trying to fix. I've missed it by a couple of days. The road's going to be open again on the 12th of March and today is the 10th. So I'll have to come back later. By the time I reached the roadblock, I had effectively walked halfway round the Queen's Drive. So by the time I'd retraced my steps all the way back to the car, I guess I'd done the full circuit and it did indeed come in at about 5k. I'm so sorry that I couldn't take you all the way round Holyrood Park on the Queen's Drive. Never mind, I'll come back in the future, hopefully when the sky's a little bluer and the sun's a little hotter. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this episode of Rog Vlog, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. And until next time, remember, there's always something to see, so get out there and find it! Yeah.